I don't know about you, but I'm kind of sick of this game not being finished, so we're going to go to the final dungeon. I think that's a wonderful idea. So we just need to head back to Mosque, and there should be a new little, you know, dungeon there. Which, yes, is the final dungeon. It technically is. No, there is no boss, but the final dungeon has what I consider to be like the... I, I like to call it the uh, final grinding point of the game, so you can grind levels for the final boss. But yeah, there it is right there. But we'll get to that. Do, 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 do. So let's land over here. Since that's the only way to get there. Alrighty then. Whee! Whee! Alrighty then. Okay. So let's do this thing. It's probably a good idea to have a bone pin in case you want to, like, leave here and, you know, go stock up or something. Although this place isn't really that hard, but, you know, if you want to do a lot of grinding, it might not be a bad idea. Lab tower. So all our buddies are here. Leave it to Pearl. I've got Baduga's number. I'm sure you do. Mei Lin? <laughs> this is exciting. It makes me feel like a hero. Hmm. <laughs> it's easy for you to say. And Meho. Ah, so you finally arrived. This is Baduga's lab tower. At its apex, he is doing abominable work. I get this feeling that Baduga is controlled by someone. He claimed he is resurrecting the world with someone underground. Well, we know who that is. I don't know who that someone is, but we must stop the atrocities. Lord Kamadi has said that only art can save the world. Let's go. We will do everything we can to help. Sounds good to me. Let's do this thing. Now, pedal. We enter from a different door. Okay. So they're gonna go into a different entrance, apparently. My skateboard's finally gonna come in handy! Okay, well, let's, uh... Let's go for it, then. Ark! If you ever try to ditch me, you'll regret it. Oh, stop that. There is a surveillance camera ahead. Leave it to me. I guess, what, she's gonna make an illusion that's gonna short out the cameras or something? Something like that? I don't know. That's kind of her thing, isn't it? Do, 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 do. Oh, something just happened. Okay, Ark, it's safe to come out now. I'm not a child, you know. I'm the freaking legendary hero. What are you talking about? I don't think we were noticed by that camera. What'd you do? <laughs> See, my ability comes in handy. Now, let's go. If we fall behind, the others could be in danger. Yeah, so we're, we're gonna have to work together to get through the security and all that stuff. Whoa, watch out, there's a robot. It's only a figurehead, it's not a big deal. I'll create a mirage to camouflage you. You go ahead. I don't think that's necessary, but it's a plot point, so yeah. I mean, th these th these are the same figureheads that were I I in the other lab, so we could probably like one-shot them, more than likely. So it's not a big deal. Ah, oh, what the hell? It's a crane! Ow! Ow! Ouch! Okay. Paddle, was that you? <laughs> did, you did that surprise you? That crane was operated by Royd. Oh, Royd. I should have guessed from the rough handling. I had no idea. Being a hero involved this much pain. Of course it does. Ah, quit your griping. Let's keep it upbeat. Yeah. Let's keep moving, shall we? Ow! 
I think there's a machine that fires laser beams ahead. Mayhu has the ability to see just a little into the future. He forsaged that we would be shot by these lasers. You mean foreseen? Forsaged? I don't know. Whatever, man. So here's where my skateboard comes in handy. Go for it. Just hang tight. I'm going to shut the firing device down. Do it up. Arc, all clear. Let's boogie. All right. Well done, Mr. Petal. Heh, what do you think of that? I'll follow you with Mei Lin, Ark. You, you go on ahead. I'll do that. So we have goblins. I'm not sure if those are the same goblins as before, but yeah, they're not really a big deal either way. Especially with the weapon we've got. We can just take them down a couple hits. If you could reach, yeah. You're not actually supposed to take these guys down, but if they get close enough, you can. Of course, you can't get the gems, but... Oh well. It's not like we, we really need gems. Pretty interesting stairs. And we got cubes! These are the same cubes, and with the weapon we, we've got... We can take them down much quicker. <laughs> like a couple hits rather than several hits. So, yeah. Freaking cubes. Hey, it's Fida. Long time, Ark. You, you've kept busy. Two levers must be operated at the same time to open shutters ahead. Of course. So we gotta push these shutters at the same time, basically. Um, oh, I guess I gotta be right in the middle. Ready, Fida? Let's go. Now! It's open. I'll meet up with you later. Okay. Do, 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 do. Just make our way. I don't think we need to go that way. I think we wanna go up this way. Yep, here we got more goblins we can take down. They're not a big deal. Woo! Nice crit. Ah, yes, and there we have a Magirock. Not just any Magirock. The last Magirock in the game. Although we did miss, I think, four of them, but I don't really care. I don't care. Because two of them are from when we, uh, are when, when, if you're, somehow you manage to get Litz to expand. And then there's, there, there's that one involving the, going back to the Kingbird's Nest, but I was too late for that. Anyway, here we have the Bloody Chariot, which is, like, the strongest enemy in the game. They give about 135 experience and about 135 gold. So there's a rumor there's a bunch of them, and that will be our grinding point. And here we have figureheads. You know, we can pretty much kill them in one shot now, so... Because <laughs> they're the same ones that we saw back in the other lab, like I said. They can still do strength down, I'm sure, but... We're not even going to worry about that. Because we can one-shot them, so it doesn't matter. Woo! Two for one. You would think they would beef them up a little here, but apparently not. Apparently they couldn't afford to do that. They couldn't afford a newer model. So. More cubes. Same, same thing with the cubes. I guess they put everything into these bloody chariots, which they can actually lower your defense. But that... But that doesn't seem to happen too often. Boom. This is th this is not the room, by the way, but yeah. 
I mean, they can do some damage to you if you let them, but... Just take them down quick, and it sh shouldn't be too bad. And I'll be trying not to get the defense down. Goblins over there that we can't get to. <laughs> Another bloody chariot. If you see one, definitely take it down, because like I said, good source of experience and money, although money's not really important right now. Because we don't really need to buy anything else unless we want to stock up on money. Uh-oh, now what? Roid! I never expected I would be helping you like this. Well, so be it. I'll blast through the shutters with this cannon. Cover your ears. Fire! Nice. Now go. Okay. Thanks, Freud. Eh, we got more figureheads. Not a big deal at all. Just short them out. Yeah, I'm gonna be getting all this money that I don't really need, but... It's nice to have. So here's the room. It's just full of these guys. Best grinding place in the game, I would say. So I would recommend getting to level 35 for the final boss. You don't have to, but I mean, you could go to level 50 and that would make the final boss like nothing. But you definitely don't have to do that. But I, I would say, you know, at least level 35, that should, that, that I'm sure that would be more than enough. Of course, if you really want to challenge your, 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 yourself, then don't grind at all. But, yeah, it's all about personal preference. I'm probably gonna... I might go to level 35. We'll see. I'm gonna do some grinding here, though. Oh, there, there, there's level. It's level 29. Life up 15. Strength up 2. Defense up 2. Luck up 3. Nice. Okay. So, I'm definitely gonna gain at least a few levels. I, I don't know how high I'll go. We'll see. But yeah, I'm, de I'm definitely going to do that here. Because if you go... If you get to a certain point in, in this dungeon, you, you kind of can't go back here. Unless you use a bone pin. So that's why it's important to have the bone pin. You know, in case you want to like go further and like save and whatever, you know. Whatever you got to do. But yeah. So you want to go into... Let's see where... See, there's different rooms. First, you want to go into the northwest room, which I think is down a little more. There it is. And Mayhu's in here. Plus, there's a chest! With a life potion. That's always good. Nothing wrong with having more life, you know. Woo! 349. Good stuff. I you want to talk to Mehu. Ah, I see it. Baduga is trying to escape on an airship. But the corridors to the airship have already been sealed. We must open the shutters ahead. Baduga will get away. Yeah, so the, the, the lab and the airship are kind of... They're, they're, they're kind of like connecting dungeons. You, you go from one to the next. So, yeah. So, we need to push buttons at the same time. Each each, each of the characters kind of has their own room that, that they do. I think ours is the one in the southwest. But something you can do is, is go into your room, so to speak, and then just leave. And there'll be a bloody chariot right outside. And you can just keep killing them, go back in, keep killing them, and just keep repeating that. And you'll gain levels pretty quickly. So, that's something you, you can do. Yeah, this room here. Because he's like right out here. Although doing that's also a good way to take more damage. If you just go through the room and take them all out separately, you'll, you'll probably end up taking less damage. But, I don't know. Because as soon as you leave the room, like, like the bloody chariot is literally like right there. So, he's more likely to damage you there. Yeah. 
So yeah. Please, I'm definitely gonna do some grinding here. I don't know how high I'm gonna go. We'll just have to see. But yeah, I, I would recommend going to at least 35. That 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 way you'll you know the the final boss shouldn't be too hard at that point. Woo. So yeah, basically just keep doing this, or just go through the entire room, you know, whichever you want. Dude, just, see, he got me locked in a corner. You, you kind of want to use Slicer to kind of go right through him, so he, so he doesn't really do that. But I got plenty of healing items, so I'm not worried about that. And if I run out, we can always use the bone pin and go back and stock up. So I'm not too worried about it. Oh, I t t totally did the wrong thing there, but... That's alright. So yeah, I'm gonna do some grinding, and uh, then we'll continue this dungeon.